You are watching the Canadian Public. It's the trade show show, this time at the Bonaventure Hilton for the 2010 edition of the Salon Son et Image. Join me, François Caron, as once again we visit the show at its new home on the roof of the Place Bonaventure in downtown Montreal. More space, more rooms, more systems, more survival tips, new technology, and no elevators. This year, the Salon Son et Image moved to its new location at the Bonaventure Hilton, a 395-room hotel located on the roof of the massive 4.9-acre Place Bonaventure office complex and convention hall. The hotel rooms follow the outer perimeter of the building, occupying two floors in a split-level configuration. The hotel's conference level is accessible via escalators from the hotel's central core. The only elevators you'll encounter during the Salon are the ones required to reach the hotel's level. After that, there are no more agonizing long waits for elevators which have plagued the Salon's previous locations. Now understandably, not everything was perfect. It is a new location and there were bound to be a few rough spots. Which brings us to our first survival tip. Unlike the previous locations, the Bonaventure Hilton has rooms on both sides of the hallways. So whenever you left a room, you struggled to remember where you came from and where you were supposed to go next. Uh, was it? But don't worry too much about that. Find a long glass hallway and follow it back to the hotel's central core. You can then work out what you've already seen and where you want to go next.
What's wrong with this room? And this one? And this one? And just a second here. It should be right over... Oh, now that's a bit dull now. To be honest, this year's room lighting and layouts were much improved over the previous years. However, there were a few rooms that could have benefited from a few extra spotlights. The large rooms were a headache as usual. If you only use spotlights to light up your gear, the seating area could become so dark that people will start tripping over each other's feet. And if you only use the room lights, the room could look either very bland or highly uneven, which doesn't help either. Eventually, someone will figure out how to properly light these troublesome rooms without spending a fortune on professional lighting gear. We just have to be patient.